everybody, I hope you are doing okay. As promised, today I'm filming a tutorial how to make a Christmas candle. So the candle I made looks like that and in a minute I'm going to explain you how I made it. So you are going to need some wax, a container, candle wicks, some oil fragrance and to decorate the candle I used transparent spray paint that makes glass opaque and helps other paints to stick better. Then some golden paint and a ribbon to add a little bit of festive mood. One day in advance I sprayed the transparent paint on my glass container. If you also decide to do that, please apply the paint in a very well ventilated area. The next step is to prepare a double boiler to melt the wax. And to measure the necessary amount of wax chips, just fill in your container twice with them. When the wax has melted completely, use a thermometer to measure its temperature. Mix it often as it cools down. This time I'll add the fragrance oil at 60 degrees Celsius. I'm adding 10 ml per 200 grams of wax chips I used. Let the wax cool down even more. Do not forget to mix it to distribute the fragrance evenly. In the meantime, stick the wick to the bottom of the container Hot glue is the best option, but today I'm using double-sided tape. So now the wax has reached 40 degrees Celsius and I'm carefully pouring it into the container. Then I'm fixing the wick with a pin to make it stay straight. If the wick comes off, don't worry, just pull it out. Let the wax cool for a few minutes. When the bottom layer starts to cure, put the wick carefully back in and it will stick to the bottom by itself. Leave your candle to cure for approximately 24 hours. After that, carefully apply some golden paint. I'm putting a very thin layer, but that's my choice because I want my candle to remain transparent. When the golden paint dries, I'm going to apply another layer of transparent spray paint to fix the golden paint and make it last. So guys, this is it. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos. As you can see, a lot about candle making is trial and error. I'm still learning myself. I would maybe improve the center of my candle because the oil fragrance that I used did not perform so well with the soy wax. You know, soy wax has its own kind of specific smell and uh, not oil fragrance, not all oil fragrances work well with it. So I probably have to find a new supplier and if I find something better, of course, I will let you know. I welcome you to experiment with ribbon colors, paint colors. For me, I chose this opaque effect because I like the light, but when it's soft. And, you know, this golden glitter to make it a little bit more festive, but it doesn't cover the glass surface completely. It still remains transparent. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please subscribe to see more. If you follow this candle tutorial and do make a candle of your own, please tag me on Instagram, I'll leave the link below. I would love to see your work. As always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye!